My name is Casella Slater. I am a science teacher, Form 1 science teacher in Pakro, Ghana. The leadership camp. Everyone is invited. Whether you're in 4-H or not in 4-H, everyone is invited. Uh, I live in Pakro and it's a medium-sized community. It's a very welcoming community. I'm able to walk around a lot and talk to different community members and uh, the children in the community all call me Auntie Afia. So every time I walk through town, I always hear that. Or when I come back from uh, traveling, I, as I come in on the trail, they all yell, Auntie Afia, Auntie Afia. It makes me feel very welcome. <laughs> I teach on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, all Form 1 Science. So we've covered topics that involve the garden, we've covered topics um, that have to do with farm animals, we've covered science, um, plant cells, animal cells, and the, the students have really enjoyed the hands-on experiential learning. So this is the 4-H school garden. Um, there is about three acres here and the students did all of it. They cleared it, they fenced it, and they planted it. Um, and did that all in two terms, fencing, everything. So we cleared the top half in less than a week. So the mulch, the ground cover was not able to decompose, the dead stuff was not able to decompose as quick as the bottom. Um, so it's helped maintain the moisture in the soil, therefore the, the top half looks a lot healthier than our than the bottom half of our maze here. So hopefully the students see that same connection on, on Friday <laughs> in our meeting. What do you cook for dinner? Uh, rice and stew most often, or indomie, which is ramen noodles. But it's easy stuff. Or sometimes I'll go to my friend patients uh, and eat with them traditional Ghanaian food, like uh, Fufu and groundnut soup or fufu and light soup. What would you want for lunch? Jollof and fried chicken. Yes. Everyone? Yes. Okay, my next question who makes jollof and fried chicken that I can ask them to make it for us? Madam Gifty. Madam Gifty. Yes. Madam Gifty. Madam Gifty. Yes. yes. I've learned a lot about myself in this last year. I've learned a lot about um, what I hope to do, um, what I enjoy doing, what I enjoy about development work, what I don't. Um, so that, that, that personal growth, there's been a lot of it. Um, I think the biggest change is that I went from wanting to be a veterinarian to now I want to be a teacher. So I, uh, I will be starting my teaching careers when I get back. What are you going to miss the most? The people. Uh, the friends I've made, and especially patients and Prinsla, they've been a really big help to integrate me into the community, um, and then just hanging out with them, they've become really close friends.